15, 3 through 4. I told you the most important part of the message, exactly what was told to me. Here you go, sir. Here you go, sir. Have a good day, sir. But Jesus Christ died for our sins, as the scriptures say. He was dead and buried, and he rose again on the third day, as the scriptures say. And the Bible says, repent, or you will all likewise perish. Those are God's words. Those are Jesus' words. Repent, or you will all likewise perish. Here you go, sir. Have a good day, sir. What does it mean to repent? What does it mean to perish? That means you're going to go to a place called hell if you die in your sin. If you die in your homosexuality. If you die in your fornication, which is sex outside of marriage. If you die in your adultery. The Bible says the adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. God bless you. But God is so full of grace and mercy. He is. He's so full of grace and mercy that you're not dying today in your sin. You have one more chance. You have one more chance before you die to repent and turn to Christ. Because today could be your day. Today could be your day. What if you stand before the creator of all things today in your sin? You won't bargain with him. The Bible says there are none righteous, no, not one, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Then the Bible says in Mark 1.15, repent and believe the gospel. Believe that Jesus Christ came to save you from your sin. Your religion won't help you. Muhammad will not help you. Buddha won't help you. The Jehovah Witness cult won't help you. Mormonism won't help you. Only Jesus Christ died for sins. Only Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, died and rose again. He did away with the sin problem. Nobody else died for your sins but Jesus Christ. Now repent and believe and turn to Jesus and put your faith and trust in Jesus. I come out here to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not out here for myself. I'm out here because I love people. I have a passion for people. Turn today and put your faith and trust in Christ. Maybe you say I'm not a sinner. The Bible says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins and forsake our sins, He will show us mercy. If you confess and forsake your sins, He'll show you mercy today. Maybe you're stuck in drug addiction. Maybe you're, maybe you're bound in your cigarettes. You know, those are demons. Those are demons. Maybe you're pornography. Those are demons as well. Because you have to search the websites looking for the prettiest girl Every single night, right? Those are demons running your life. Those are demons. The Bible says flee from sexual morality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual morality sins against his own body. Because you're supposed to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. You're supposed to be the temple of God. Turn today. Today is the day of salvation. You can be forgiven of all of your past sins. All of your past sins can be forgiven today. If you would repent, change your mind about God and change your mind about your sin. Turn to God. Confess your sins. Confess them. But you know what? Everybody knows how to confess their sins, but nobody wants to forsake their sins. What does forsake mean? You know what forsake means? It means go and do it no more. A good analogy is what happens if you, what happens if you commit adultery on your wife? And you're mourning and you're sorrow and your wife knows that you committed adultery. But you tell her, you know what, I'm not going to stop committing adultery, but I still love you. Will you forgive me? Your wife's going to look at you like you're crazy. She's going to look at you like you're crazy. It's the same with God. We can't continue in sin that grace might abound. We can't continue in sin that grace might abound, the Bible says. If you have died to your old self, if you have been risen to new birth, if you have been born again, you should be separate from sin. You should be separate from that old sinful lifestyle. And you should walk in the light as he is in the light. Because if we walk in the light as he is in the light, his blood continues to cleanse us from our sins, our old sins. It's an urgent message, folks. It's an urgent message. Nobody knows the day they will take their last breath on earth. Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't have any Spanish. I'm so sorry. It's just English. I'm sorry. Are you born again? The Bible says we must be born again, okay? So that means you have to repent and turn from your sin and put your faith in Jesus. 
Oh, trust in Jesus.